Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to make a follow-up video on the Sika gear. Uh, I made a video a while back uh, when I purchased a bunch of Sika gear. I purchased the uh, the Stratus bibs and jacket. I also purchased the Fanatic bibs and jacket, and uh, I also bought the Fanatic hoodie and the Fanatic hat and neck gaiter. And uh, just going to give you my uh, my thoughts on it. Um, you know, I, I came across a quote of Benjamin Franklin that said, The bitterness of poor quality remains long after the sweetness of low price is forgotten. And that is a great quote. And I think it, it, um, it applies when it comes to purchasing, uh, you know, any type of gear, uh, hunt, but especially hunting gear. And for years, I've always been um, the type of person that, you know, I always tried to buy the best thing I could afford. But a lot of time I was kind of impulsive and I would buy things because they were a little bit more affordable and I just tried to make them work. And in when it came to hunting clothing, I felt like most of the hunting clothing I've used in the past always kind of underperformed, um, especially for me when it came to wind. I could never really find hunting clothing that was um, kept me warm, but yet was kind of light to wear and kept me warm when it was a really biting cold wind. Could not stand that. And then I heard about, you know, the sick of gear that worked out really well. Scott started purchasing it and, um, and he was really happy with it. So I said, eh, what the hell, I'll give it a try. So I did and I bought the... Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to have Sika gear that would work good in the earlier part of the season and in the coldest uh, parts of the season. So I bought the Stratus series, bibs and pants. Uh, I'm sorry, not bibs and pants. I'm sorry, bibs and jacket. Uh, also the the uh, the hat, the beanie, and then I bought the Fanatic jacket, bibs, uh, hat, and neck gaiter. And um, I found that me personally. Um, I got more use out of the Stratus stuff because I can kind of layer with it. It's light. Um, you probably see me in a lot of my videos wearing the Stratus jacket. Um, I just love this jacket. In fact, um, I'm probably, this particular jacket, I wear it all the time. And, um, you know, I, I'm not one that usually likes to wear uh, my hunting clothing. I like to use just for hunting. But I love this jacket so much that I ended up wearing it a lot um, just when anytime I'm out in the field and filming stuff just because I feel like it it, it feels good, it looks good. And um, in a hunting situation, it's just been really, really fantastic. It's light, it's warm, and um, in the wind, it works fantastic. I mean, you just, you, you do not feel the wind when you're wearing this thing. So I get the most use out of that. Um, but um, I would say I will say that it's a little bit light for those days. Once you start getting down into freezing temps, it's a little bit light for that. So um, you know, for me, I was using it in uh, in October and early November, and then once we started getting some really really cold temps, then I would go to the to the fanatic stuff. However, uh, I found that my legs my legs don't really get cold that easily. So. I, for me, it was a perfect combination on the coldest weather to use the Stratus bibs in conjunction with the Fanatic jacket. And um, I had a day, I'll tell you about this day, uh, that, that really for me was the true test. Uh, Scott and I were hunting in the Finger Lakes region and it was a day that it never got above 15 to 18 degrees that day. It was snowing and windy all day. It was kind of just like snow showers all day long. No real accumulation, but uh, I mean, we maybe over the course of the entire day, maybe about three quarters of an inch of snow on the ground. And um, it built up on us a little bit. Like my jacket was wet when I came home, but I stayed dry the whole day. And uh, the one thing that I noticed is that that day it was just 40 mile an hour wind gusts and snow squalls. And um, we sat from sun up till sundown and I remember saying to Scott, probably about 30 minutes before the sun went down, that I was so warm and comfortable that I felt like I could actually, I could literally sleep in that tree. 
I could have stayed in that tree all night and waited for sun up and kept hunting. I was that comfortable after an all day sit. And I've, I don't think that's, I've ever felt that way um, at any point in my 40 years of hunting. So, um, and I attribute that to what I was wearing. Um, that day I was wearing the Cabela's um, Expedition Weight Thermal Underwear Bottoms and Tops. And I ended up having the Fanatic hoodie, the, my Stratus bibs, and the Fanatic, uh, the Fanatic jacket, and I wore the Fanatic hat and the neck gaiter. And I just climbed into this outfit, and no matter how cold and windy it was, I was comfortable. Um, the only added thing that I did was I had a couple of hand warmers I stuck in the kangaroo pouch and uh, just kept my hands in air. Most of the time I wasn't even wearing gloves. Um, I don't wear a glove on my hand where my uh, release is. I always keep that hand in my pocket and I'll wear a glove on my, my hand that holds the bow. Um, but a lot of the day I literally even had my both gloves off, just kept them, kept the gloves in the kangaroo pouch. If I, you know, if I'd see a deer or something, I could pull the, put the glove on my shooting hand and, uh, or, you know, my, my left hand and, uh, you know, pick up the bow. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, it was, it worked fantastic. Um, I was, I was warm and comfortable all day long. And, um, I don't, I've never wore, uh, hunting clothing in the past that, um, was, I could feel that way. I always felt, I, I, it always left something to be desired. And, um, this, the, the Sika gear lived up to its, um, it, well, it lived up to its price. Um, the thing about Sika gear, anybody will tell you, is it comes at a premium price. But, um, you know, I think you're getting what you pay for. Um, and it, it, it performed um, to the expectations that I had for that kind of money that you're spending. So um, I would say if you're on the fence about buying it, um, you know, I, I, I highly doubt you'll be um, unhappy with its performance. Um, you know, it'd be nice if the price of it came down because it's it's not cheap. But, uh, you know, you really do get what you pay for. So, um, yeah, and the one thing I would stress is, you know, if you're somebody like me that, you know, can't afford to buy everything you want all in one shot, um, maybe start out with the Stratus series because, I, you know, for me, I felt like I got little bit more use out of Stratus um, and if you're into layering the Stratus is a good idea because you can get maybe your the Stratus jacket get yourself the Fanatic hoodie um, and then with you know uh, good base layers you can you can do a lot just with that uh, when you get down to those those colder temps um, you might want to step up and get yourself the the Fanatic jacket and I'll, I'll say the Fanatic jack, jacket um, I just, I have not come across a scenario where I've gotten cold in a Fanatic jacket. I also had a day where it was a rainy day in the morning. It was just one of them, uh, those raw, nasty, wet mornings. And, um, the, you know, the, the Fanatic gear, it's not really marketed as rain gear. Um, but I got, you know, snow and freezing rain on me. And the outside of the jacket was wet. Uh, that day when I went home, I had to actually throw it in the dryer. It was wet. But I stayed warm and dry inside of it. So um, it, it really worked well for that. And uh, I'm real happy with it. Uh, it's just, it's, it's good stuff. So I just wanted to give you my feedback on it. It, uh, it met my expectations. Worked out really well for me. Um, you know, uh, there's also the talk about the, the, the camouflage, camouflage pattern. Uh, you know, it's basically designed, uh, the elevated ambush bush position uh, is what I'm hunting from. So all the stuff that I got, it has that elevated ambush pattern on it. And I can't remember being spotted out of the tree where I felt like, you know, the camo didn't work out for me. Um, you know, it, it worked well. I will say this, I don't think it's the best camo pattern when you're down at ground level. Um, I kind of noticed that and look at, at some of my trail camera images. I was getting trail camera images of me um, going into the trees that um, that I was hunting. And, um, you know, it's 
you know, not the best pattern when you're down on ground level, but I don't think it's really designed to be. Um, they have other patterns that are kind of designed more for that, that have more green in them and that sort of thing. Um, but from an elevated ambush, um, I think it works great. Uh, I don't remember ever getting picked off and having deer spot me in the tree. Um, and I felt like there was uh, at no point with the Sika gear that I ever feel like it let me down. I felt like it, uh, it performed really well for me. So uh, hopefully that answers you know any questions you guys might have about it if you're on the fence about it. If you have any questions about it, um, you know, put them in the comments section and I'll try and answer them the best I can for you. Um, just with my experience using it and like I said, I just have only used the Fanatic series stuff and the Stratus series stuff um, There's a bunch of different uh, uh, Other there's a lot of other stuff out there um, You know, there's like the, the mountain series and that that sort of thing. I haven't gotten into using any of that stuff yet but uh, this stuff that's kind of geared more towards the elevated uh, whitetail hunter um, uh, you know, I think I think you'll be very happy with so all right guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that's helpful um, I, I'd really appreciate it if you give us a like and uh, Just uh, thanks for watching right best of luck out there